Austin, Texas, the former deputy arrested in the fatal Sunday shooting of three people in Austin, Texas, was left largely unsupervised by the criminal justice system months after a woman asserted in sworn affidavits that she and a child feared he would hurt them. An examination of court records shows Stephen Broderick, a former property crimes detective with the Travis County Sheriff's Office, spent 16 days in jail last summer on charges of sexually assaulting a child. Broderick, 41, then posted bail, which was set at $50,000, on June 22. The courts ordered him not to contact or go within 200 feet of the child. Broderick also was ordered to wear a GPS tracking device. But five months after his release, with his case still pending, a Travis County judge ordered the removal of the device on November 5. Broderick's lawyer argued in a written motion to the court that Broderick had worn the electronic monitor for 142 days with no substantial violations and that it should be removed. State District Judge Karen Sage agreed, a decision that left Broderick largely unsupervised months after the woman said she feared for her and the child's safety with Broderick out of jail. Austin Police Chief Joe Chacon declined to release the identity of those killed in the carnage but did say Broderick knew the victims, two Hispanic women and a black man, and that the shooting was targeted. Officials said a child related to the case was safe and in police custody. Officials said the attack, which happened just before noon in an apartment complex near the Arboretum shopping area, was an act of domestic violence. A manhunt involving local authorities, as well as the FBI, was launched Sunday. Broderick was arrested Monday along a rural highway in nearby Manor, Texas. Because Mr. Broderick committed this heinous crime after he paid a money bond to be released on charges related to sexual assault against a child, Texas law permits his detention without bail, Travis County District Attorney Jose Garza said. In an interview Sunday with the Austin American Statesman, part of the USA Today network, Sage said she typically agrees to remove tracking devices when a defendant has exhibited a pattern of compliance and has not incurred any violations. Sage, who left in place Broderick's no contact and distancing stipulations, said she rarely keeps defendants on GPS tracking for more than 90 days if they have been compliant. He had been on GPS for five months with no violations, Sage said. It's a pretty common thing for me to do, frankly. Broderick's bail conditions required him to surrender all firearms and not obtain any new ones. In an application for a protective order after Broderick's arrest, the woman said she worried about her safety and that of the children. I'm afraid he will try to hurt me or the children, because these allegations have come out and he may lose his career, she stated. Stephen has prior military experience and a SWAT trained.